Something's wrong. Who are you guys? What are and we you? doing here? Who am I? You are him. Who is he? Who are, are you? you? But if you're me, and I if am he's you, him, me, I'm. then you must be him. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Coffee. I am Super Paul, and this is Jan. And this is Koho. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. So, what are we talking about today? Today's topic is superhero fatigue. Is it real or just a myth? Superhero fatigue, but we are thinking in the movie. Yeah, mostly sense. Yeah, movie sense. All right. So, why is this uh, a topic? Well, it's uh, a topic being talked about a lot in the media's mm. that people are really tired of superhero movies. So yeah. we're going to break down if people really are tired of superhero yeah. movies, or is it just? I mean, and is it all superhero movies and series, or just some? Is it just Marvel? Is it DC and Marvel? Is it everything that has to do with superheroes, or just some? That's also a good question. Mm -hmm. it is, yeah. Okay, so, where do you want to start? Marvel? Well, we could just start in a basic uh, place. Is it real, or is, not, is it not? What do you think? I mean, yeah. I don't I don't follow any of these superhero movies anymore at least not the Marvel ones that are out in the cinema I, I can't I think the last one I saw in the <clears> cinema <throat> was Endgame <clears throat> I haven't seen one Marvel movie at the cinema since Endgame How about the DC ones I have seen some of them mm. not all of them but the DC ones for me are always more interesting uh, that might be a preference but I used to watch everything superhero back yeah. in the day so mm -hmm. i guess yeah you could say in my case it uh, <laughs> might be true at least what about you guys are you still following everything that's coming out like the tv shows movies not everything not mm -hmm. everything i mean speaking for myself i've seen most things that have come out but like you i haven't really seen things in the cinema anymore uh i have gone to the cinema after endgame yeah but um uh, it doesn't feel for me like the event it used to be. Mm -hmm. You're not as excited about it anymore as no. it used to be. No. Did that end with Endgame or did it go gradually? Like, uh, did you were you excited for the? I don't know what the next movies were, but like, were you just as excited to see how things continued after Endgame and then gradually fell off the wagon, or was it like, ah, this is over? I well, for both of you guys. For me, it was yeah. gradually like I. The first movie after Endgame was uh, Far From Home, when oh. Spider-Man went to Europe. That was a really yeah. good one. I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I liked it. And, <laughs> but from there on, it started going really dumb. Why would he take really off his dumb. mask in the middle of a bar in Europe? Why? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Topic Anyways. for another time. Yeah. yeah. But I, I thought the... Both that and No Way Home were pretty good. And No Way Home I, was a pretty good I one. really enjoyed those. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to other things than just uh, movies, I was really excited about the TV series mm -hmm. when they first came out. That, um, and when I say the TV series, I mean uh, WandaVision. Yeah, the Disney Plus TV. Because, like, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I was excited about the Defenders series as well when they came out. But by then, this was... Far, far earlier in the development. Yeah, I, I like the Netflix TV shows yeah. that were like Defenders, Daredevil, Punisher, all those. Yeah, yeah. I was hyped and stoked to watch WandaVision, but I hated that too. And then I oh, really, really hated Loki. Really? I haven't liked anything since Endgame. Right. And then I tried Moon Knight because I'm a huge Moon Knight fan. And I hated that more than all of the other ones. Oh, wow. And that was it. That was the like... Uh, Final straw for me. Yeah, I don't think I actually liked any of the Disney Plus shows. Mm -hmm. 
I liked the um, Werewolf at Midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short. That, one that was, was a good, good one. But after Far Werewolf, From Home. Werewolf at Night. Yeah. Isn't it? yeah. After Far From Home, the movie went gradually downwards. Mm. Uh, starring with uh, Black Widow, which was oh. a meaningless movie after her uh, the mice and <laughs> she, yeah, after her death in the oh. movies. But like, yeah. like so, so there were there were no stakes in the movie because you knew she yeah. would survive to live another other day because it yeah. was set before yeah. the uh, before Endgame. So so you like some of it. You probably like. More I, than I probably like the most most things. of it, and I, I, I and I hate all of it. Yeah, because <laughs> I really enjoyed uh, WandaVision, and uh, and I I really liked Loki. Well, parts of Loki. <laughs> I thought it was uh, I thought it was entertaining, and I followed the whole thing mm -hmm. week by week. Yeah. Mm. The, the, there has been a couple of movies in between. Like I did, I did enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy three. Yeah, I have and, seen and, that one. And both the Spider Man movies. Mm. Uh, the Shang Chi movie was, yes. yeah, okay. Me too. Me too. <laughs> it was a, it was a fun kung fu movie, but yeah. it was a really bad Marvel movie. Uh, but and for DC, I think they've been steady all the time. Like mm -hmm. e even their worst movie is better than the mid Marvel movies because I don't feel like DC is trying to pander anything, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's the true point of the superhero fatigue people aren't really tired of superhero movies they're just tired of bad superhero movies if you look at the new trailer for uh, Deadpool and Wolverine mm. it's the most seen movie trailer on YouTube ever is it yeah and that in, in the first day it was uh -huh. like the most seen trailer so people are hyped okay, they are okay. still hyped but they want the good yeah. superhero movies but the point you make with DC is interesting but it's not just about pandering and all the political correctness. It's also that DC, they don't release these movies as often as Marvel either. Well, That's we've had point. three yeah. or four DC movies this year. Yeah. The Flash, Shazam 2, Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2. Okay, not this year, last year. Last year. Hmm. So, uh, and, and that's also a thing. I think people are tired of too much superhero yeah, stuff. Yeah. If Marvel and DC could limit to like one one or two movies yeah. a year and just skip all of the TV shows, I think uh, people would be back on the saddle again. That's actually a very interesting point. Because does that mean that we're tired of the same heroes? Not necessarily. So does it mean we're tired of seeing Thor doing like the same... I don't understand this culture shtick. Are we tired of watching Iron Man doing his uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna tired and I'm going to fix this <laughs> you know, shtick? Am I, are, like, are, we, are we tired of seeing you know, the characters doing what they do? In every you know what I would movie? love to see in a superhero movie? A bad guy who's kind of like, he's really smart, like a professor kind of guy. And he's not all that bad. He's just misunderstood. And then something bad happens. He has like a really bad day and then like something goes wrong, some experiment. And then he turns into like a monster or something. And then he decides, I'm going to make everyone else into the same kind of monster as me. Why don't they do that? Oh, wait. X-Men did that. Spider-Man did that. All right. Yeah, never mind. All right. So so my point about uh, the same thing <laughs> yeah. repeating yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So is creativity going out of those uh, the movies? It's like the creativity disappearing. Because if you look at movies, very few movies that are being released are not based on something that already exists, like a comic book, a follow-up to an older series or movie, you know. The life, like everything in life, is a remake of something. Like, every story has been told some way or the other. So, uh, I don't think ideas are, uh, like, okay, ideas are maybe dried up, but... Twists are still there if, if they just I don't try completely to... agree though. I agree, but like everything change all the time. Mm. So you do, you can still make something good and creative. You just have to make something, and I don't know. So don't you don't need to do the same thing, and you can yeah. still do something creative if you have some good idea about a character. Or a story, because you can change 
everything around the story and put it in a different time and then it's a new story yeah but that, that's what i mean like every story is some sort of exactly, remake of course because you you can just put so it into an other time I mean. and space so that's a bad excuse for giving us bad movies yeah of course mm. but i think it's just, they're just trying to rush to uh to, to, to get to the next story yeah, yeah. like because the infinity uh war movies they they or the infinity saga was such a good thing, and now they just can't wait until the next till they push the next story. So, like they tried and failed with the multiverse thing. They tried and failed with the uh, Kang Dynasty thing. Like they, yeah, I don't think they uh, know what they want anymore. Yeah, mm. that's the so. Problem. So they're just rushing. They're pushing, pushing, pushing to um, yeah. They want to try to make more money on the same things that worked once, and mm. it, it's not working in the same way. People. Yeah. And, and that's why I'm actually more hyped about the future of DC because James Gunn, I think he understands that people are tired of the cinematic universes. Mm -hmm. So he's making a cinematic universe. Like it's still set in the same universe, but every movie is going to be a standalone. So you don't have to watch this to watch that. And I think but that that's the key to fix the superhero. You fatigue. think so? Because then like if, Everything is just one movie. There are not this, you don't have the same stakes though. It not, doesn't have but, any build up to the next one. But like, it's it's actually an interesting point because if you go back and you watch the first Avengers movie, hmm. you don't actually need to have watched Thor. No, you don't need to have. You watched... should have watched Iron Man though. <sighs> should you? Yeah, That's... I suppose. I suppose he's sort of like the the yeah. character that's sort of like. You don't need to have watched Captain America. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, 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 maybe not. Like, yeah, but, you, there's, you... But, but there's nothing in the first Captain America movie yeah, that's all that you past. need for the next for, to watch uh, the first Avengers movie, mm -hmm. right? There, there's no overarching story that mm -hmm. doesn't happen until like the next sort of Avengers phase, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's what I mean. I think that's the way to fix the superhero uh, fatigue. You don't have to make every movie dependent depending on the other movie. Yeah. And yeah. of course, there can be still be made storylines over more movies. But like, say you have Batman, he can have have like a trilogy of uh, where you have a an on, ongoing story. Well, then they but shouldn't that, have killed Carmine. I'm uh, I'm not talking about the Batman. I know. But uh, like the new Batman, the Just, new DCU Batman, yeah. and you can start. Say you make a Justice League movie and you go for the Apocalypse War and you make a trilogy about that story. Snyder was trying to do that. Yeah, but say without depending on the standalone movies. Mm. Like this is the story for the Justice League movie mm. and it won't depend on uh, whatever happened to Lex Luthor and the... Uh, will Super it be as good if you do it like that? Will it work? Will it be as exciting? It's, it's, it, it has worked in comics for years. If you look... look uh, but it's <clears throat> different in comic books than on the movie, in the yeah. movies. I don't know, maybe it works, but I feel like... To a degree, I like when you have the movies about the individual characters before you have a big event. Mm. But it's also the same thing that ruins it. Okay, but that means, so after you've done the big event, it should all just be a team of mm. movies, because you can't go back to the... Or you can do like one big event and that's it. And then you yeah. have to end your universe, movie universe. Or go back to creating individual movies about the characters, but not do, trying to do something bigger. Oh, but mm. this time it's a bigger threat that's going to destroy the wor world, and now we have to save the world again. I, th I feel like you yeah, can but... do like a save the world thing just once. Yeah, but there's a, but there's a difference between like the everyday bad guys and mm. the world-ending bad yeah. guys. Because if, if you look at the DC Universe, now that we're onto it, mm. like, there's a reason why Superman doesn't just show up in Gotham. Mm. Right? Mm. So, because because Superman has his stuff to deal with, mm. and Batman has his stuff to deal mm. with, and you know Cyborg and the Flash, and and of course they're also living in different places. Yeah, <laughs> like they all have their own sort of areas that they sort of hang out in. Yeah, and and it, an interesting thing about the universe is how they sort of take characters like Nightwing and just 
physically moving out of uh, Gotham. Mm. So it makes sense for them not to show up. Yeah. And yet these characters still show up and sort of team up together. So I, I definitely think you're onto something with, with like not needing to have everything connected yeah. with every movie and then, you know, mm. just do a team <clears throat> up and, and then, you know, you have to have watched everything up until then. Mm. Yeah. Okay, outside of Marvel and DC, is there anything superhero stuff you guys like? Is there anything exciting? I love The Boys. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the anti... <sighs> when I watched The Boys, I watched it because it was the exact opposite of all the other superhero stuff. Mm. So it was like very refreshing, it was very dark, and it was poking fun of all the silly cliches we had seen for so long in Marvel and in DC. Ah, mm. but it's... But it's not unique or uh, in, in that sense. You also have things like Brightburn and Chronicle and uh, the anything. Reckoners books. Books, books. But I'm talking about the TV show. Yeah, yeah, the TV show. Yeah, sure. It, yeah. But but the movies, uh, but, but there are movies like Chronicle and Brightburn that are I essentially where the superheroes are the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 True, true. Well, I, I, I've forgotten about Brightburn. That one's really good. <laughs> well, I would like to see more original superhero movies that, yeah. that aren't based on any of the... Of course, I'm a huge DC Marvel fan, so I would also welcome more mm -hmm. Marvel DC if they, if they just get their shit together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I would like to see more original movies or from more of the lesser-known... Uh, like I, image or, uh, I'm, but I, I'm, for me, the main reason I fell off wasn't just because it was anticlimactic after Endgame. It was that every time I was looking forward to something, it was either a bait and switch. That like I was looking forward to Moon Knight, but he's just a goofball and he's being poked fun at the whole show. And oh, look, the the lady he's with is a so much better Moon Knight than he ever was. I'm just so sick and tired of that same thing. And it goes, like, you have that... You have, they do the same with the Hawkeye, Hawk, Hawk Hawkman, Hawkboy, Hawkeye. Hawkeye. That I, guy. Yeah, I do yeah. disagree with that. Because you I, like that. Yeah, I really liked it. But because to me, they, they're not poking fun of Hawkeye. Hawkeye is, like, the dude in that series. He's the man. He's, he's <laughs> like, been Hawkeye for a very long time, and he's tired... But they, the new person is always like, oh, I'm so much better than, than the she's, old person. But she's not. And, and that's Moon Knight, that is the case. It's not in Hawkeye. Okay, but in Hawkeye, still, I see your point. I see your point. But the point being is, like, I, I, I could agree to what you're saying if Hawkeye just got the chance to shine on his own for once before being, at least being replaced. Like, uh, Give uh, Bishop a bigger build-up and give Hawkeye his time. Because he was always just a side character in the uh, Avengers movies. Yeah. Like, he never... Like, he, he like, wasn't Hawkeye, Hawkeye. Like, <laughs> yeah, so when he when he was finally giving his, uh, given his own show, they yeah. did the same thing. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was finally they his time him and again. they side... Yeah, so that's, and, the, so that's the problem. That's why I see your point and I see your point. And I'm just so sick and tired that you have to always lift the minority or female characters by like having them step on the heads of the male character. For me, that is something I see very clearly every time, and I'm like, ah, I'm done with this. Like Crap. diversity is good, but not in the Hollywood sense of way. If you have to push somebody down to lift yeah, somebody, that's what up, I'm then saying. you're doing it wrong. If that, you can. Yeah. Like do it properly where everybody shines and you mm. give the characters their due, then the, I don't have any problem with it. And that's I, what, I that's, was watching that's what Moon I'm Knight. Saying. Yeah. To watch Moon Knight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch Mark Spector. Mm. Yeah. And mm. sure, you can have somebody else either gradually take over or have more s screen time, but don't do that in the first season. Mm. But, I mean, it's kind of like what we we talked about this off screen. Like you could. Uh, whether or not you could make a good Batman movie 
where Batman is not the main character, mm. but he's like Showing the up. antagonist, the yeah. scary thing mm. in the shadows. The you observe him from the other. Yeah, because uh, you make yeah. him look really badass by having mm. him be like this threat that the this boogeyman. The, yeah, Batman. this unstoppable force that you mm. cannot do anything about. Mm. Uh, and I think, I mean, that's that's something you could do about mm. certain certain yeah. characters like this. Maybe, maybe, maybe not exactly Hawkeye. No. <laughs> but that could be I a, mean they almost really... did that with Hawkeye. <laughs> but it could In, be uh, a really, game. it could be a really fun thing to do with yeah. Moon Knight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah. I mean that is just Moon Knight <laughs> from <laughs> yeah, but the like, other side. But yeah and then like the twist is that uh that you you were you were what Moon Knight was the main character all along mm. or mm. something like but, but uh, that would be cool. That would, yeah. I, I'm up for anything original at this point. Yeah. Just don't do the same shtick again and again and again. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So which is getting harder. And yeah, harder. of course. I mean, course. we're we're talking since 2008. Are we? Yeah, I well, would we, go way further. I would yeah, say we're like talking. We had, we had from like 2000. the X Men universe yeah, that started in 2000, yeah, which is be, which is being. Is that, but shoved you, into MCU right now. I would say yeah, you have to include true. X Men because that's a long, like franchise. That's yeah, a big I mean, franchise with many, many. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. And yeah. also, and also the Spider Man movies. Spider Man yeah. movies. They would, if if superhero fatigue truly is setting in, then yeah. then I would, yeah, I I, I get late nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. 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 Batman 1979. Ah, okay, you can go over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Superman <laughs> 1978. Batman <laughs> 1960s. Sure, I mean, that's also a point. I don't uh, think superhero fatigue is real. It's just... We are... We're just getting too much. We just need a little less. And some of these movies are very forgettable. Yeah. Some of these movies. I agree. I I agree out. with uh, Martin Scorsese. Yeah, who I calls agree them as well. Tivoli uh, Rides. Tivoli Tivoli yeah. Rides. Uh, fun, fun fair rides. Yeah. 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 Although I, it, I mean, it's it's a downward trend. I think. Yeah. yeah. Just like the Western movies in the '60s and uh, zombie movies and and kung fu movies in the '70s. Like movies. Yeah. yeah. And and they will they will always come back uh, yeah. somehow. We just need a, a little time off. And I think... But also, there's another thing that I think is a point why people are so sick and tired of the superhero movies. Because you don't get to see all the other good, like, really great movies that we used to have. Like, mm -hmm. great cinematic experiences are not something you have that often anymore. Like, movies like Dune. I had a great experience with Dune yesterday. Yeah, yeah I yeah. haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I, I love the first one, like... Ha it, is it true that the superhero movies, because that's what the main focus has been for so long, are stealing away focus from other kind of movies that mm. we could have had at the cinema? Mm. Yeah, maybe. And another and another point in that same vein is: could superhero movies be more interesting if? we pulled in different characters, different villains than all the same ones yeah. all the time. That is the villains, a problem. The villains tend to be like a big bad that goes on for a while. I mean, if you if we look at uh, if we look at DC for instance and look at all the Batman other and Joker. Mm. Yeah, Bat there's Batman and Joker, right? But a Batman movie with the Mad Hatter, mm. uh, I was gonna say Two Face, but we've seen that. <laughs> Uh, ventriloquist. Mm. I mean, the war game storyline. You have a lot there's, of. Good... There's a lot yeah. of things that we but, haven't seen yet. But that, they are afraid of taking risks, so they, it's safer to make another reboot with Batman and then just throw in like Joker or Penguin or somebody that everyone is familiar with. Though that is why it's failing. I would say if it is failing. I mean, it's, yeah, maybe it's getting a bit stale. Yeah. Mm. I was going to say repetitive, but stale, I think, is a better word. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on this? No, I totally agree. I want to see new, new villains. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how many Batman movies have we had now, and they still haven't introduced uh, proper Robin since Chris O'Donnell in the mm -hmm. 90s. Mm -hmm. like, and, yeah. and when I first want to see, like, when they do introduce Robin, I don't want them to introduce... I don't want him to start off with uh, <laughs> Damien Wayne. Oh, I, I want him to start with Dick Grayson, or or maybe Tim Drake, and have Dick Grayson already established as Nightwing. 
but I don't want him to start off with the. Um, okay. With Damien Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. So, any thoughts then? Uh, like, I don't. It's, it's I, a long video yeah, now, but yeah. like, uh, we should probably <laughs> wrap it up. So, yeah. is it real or not? It's real to, to a degree. To a degree, and uh, I would say it's real for me because I'm kind of done. I've thrown in the towel, mm -hmm. unless it's something else. So, again, like why the boys really had an appeal for me to, uh, and Brightburn. Anything that is not Marvel and DC, I'm. There's a higher chance that I might check that out instead of Marvel and DC. Then the bar is higher for me to get excited about it. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it doesn't have to be. Mm. That's, I think that was the whole uh, conclusion here. That there is somewhat of a superhero fatigue, but it's mm. just because they're doing it wrong. It doesn't mm. have to be that it's about that we don't want to see more superhero movies. It's just we want something a little bit more interesting. Yeah, like, I'm really hyped about the... Wolverine and asshole movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Asshole. <laughs> uh... Hugh Jackman actually uh, promoted the movie like that. Oh, he did. Yeah, he yeah, he, he did it on his uh, Instagram. He posted the poster, but instead of Deadpool and Wolverine, it said Wolverine and asshole. Ah, nice. <laughs> that sounds like a different movie. So. <laughs> Do you think there's a uh, superhero fatigue? I don't think it's something that's specifically superhero. I think you can say that it, there is, mm. but I think it's more what we see in general, like the, the lack of originality. I mean, mm. we, we don't just see the superheroes. There's John a Wick. Disney Plus mm. fatigue. No, it's not Disney Plus. <laughs> Look at John Wick. It's yeah. the Panda. The first John Wick <laughs> yeah. movie was brilliant, and then... I, I I mean I still like the, I love even, all four. I even yeah. like like I, the last movie, but I love it. And I'm going I'm, I'm going to fourth, watch Ballerina next year. <laughs> but, oh. but by the fourth movie, I am far less uh, excited mm. about it because I'm because I I know what I'm going to get. It's going to be action scenes and the story is going to be well. But that's exactly is, what I want uh, to get. Can, from can a John you name, movie. Can you name one John Wick bad guy? Hmm. <laughs> I thought I could. <laughs> exactly. But I actually liked the story up until the fourth one. Mm. One, two, and three, I really enjoyed. And I thought the second one was the best one. Where he has to go to Rome and uh, he gets set up. Yeah, maybe. But but the point, the point that I'm yeah, trying I, to make here is, is that it's not original. They're making the same movie, almost the same movie, mm. four times. Mm. And especially movie number two and three is essentially just one long movie. Fast yeah. and Furious. Fast and Furious. I, it's not the same. I would, I would argue that it's not the same. Resident Evil. They're rehashing Scream and Halloween. I would not and, put John Wick in that category. But, it's, mm. but the point is, uh, rather than batting on something new, mm. they're rehashing the same mm. stories, the same characters. That's... That's my well, uh, that's my well, sort yeah, of take on the I, I, I totally thing. get that. Why it's a bit more interesting from my perspective is that you have the John Wick movies are not just action movies. They're like a modern type of martial arts movies. Mm. And for every movie, I'm like, who, who are they going to cast in this movie? Who's who's he going to fight this time? Like you had Mark Dacascos in the, was it the third movie? I think so. Yeah. Now, and that was just amazing. And you had those Indonesian guys from uh, the, the building movie. We are going inside the this raid. building. Raid. The raid, thank mm. you. So you, uh, for me, I was like, what crazy martial art fights are we going to see? Uh, oh, yeah, and we had uh, in uh, the last one. Uh, what's the his... samurai guy. No, uh, not, not the samurai guy. The Oh, what's his name again? Donnie Yen. Yeah, he, him as well. Oh, yeah, but, you had but, Donnie Yen. Oh, you had Marco Zaror. No, but um, martial arts uh, guy. Uh... Ah, Scott uh, Atkins. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, so these things are what I, uh, why I like these movies extra maybe because of the martial arts stuff john wick yeah, 4 is the only reason why i'm hyped about going to paris this uh, summer <laughs> i want to walk in those stairs where he, where yeah, he fell down for yeah, 30 yeah, minutes yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then kept getting shot at yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. no uh, yeah. yeah you your turn <laughs> no, i i um i believe that it's true to a degree but it's not superhero move it's it's not superhero movies we're tired of. It's just bad superhero movies, mm. like you know, like what like what I'm saying. 
Wolverine and uh, mm. Deadpool looks awesome. Mm. And I'm really looking forward to Superman Legacy. It's just... Um, Never heard of it. I didn't. Like, the Marvels was the first MCU movie I didn't catch on opening day. And I didn't even go see it in the theaters. And Madame Web is the first Spider-Man movie I... Didn't go to see it on opening day, and I haven't even seen it on... Uh, I want to watch that one just because I've heard so much bad I, stuff yeah, about I, it. I want to watch it just to see uh, Sidney Sweeney in the Spider-Woman suit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I have one Canceled. final thing for you guys. Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, are there any superhero characters from any universe that haven't either... <sighs> haven't been cast or uh, that we don't have any movies about or that you would like to see get a reboot or another shot i would always like another batman i would <laughs> <laughs> very original <laughs> yeah. very, very I, original. I, I, if i can get any new superhero movie like if if i can choose what the next superhero movie is going to be it's give... almost always going to be Batman. <laughs> really I would... but, but if but for something that's not you know already out there then uh, i'm gonna have to think on that for okay a bit. okay I would like to see uh, Green Lantern. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, oh, careful yeah, what you they wish never for, made any movies. I, about I would like that to guy. see Nathan Fillion as Hal Jordan, but he has actually been cast as Guy Gardner in Superman Legacy, so he will be a Green Lantern, just the wrong Green Lantern. All right, all right. But uh, other than that, Swamp Thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, not looking forward to uh, Pedro Pascal as uh, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Like, I like him in Mandalorian, but I think he's a little bit every too much mm. everywhere right now. Uh, I would like to see him as Sorrow, though. Okay. Zorro Other su- was, Sorrow. Sorrow would be cool. The Phantom. Phantom Defenders reboot? of the Earth have Mandrake, Phantom, and... Uh, have, have a new cinematic universe Fla- around Fla- there. You go. <laughs> Phantom, Mandrake, and Flash Gordon team up. Yeah. Yeah, that would be something. Uh, yeah. A Spawn movie, where Spawn, Spawn. is the main character. Yeah, I would love to see a, a proper Spawn movie, like a really good, dark Spawn movie. And I would also like to see another Ghost Rider movie, but just, like again, done right. Mm. With Nicolas Cage? I would love... If he was in it, but not... Yes. Uh, yeah. Just, oh, it would be the best cameo. Yeah, it would be a nice cameo, but like a proper dark, gritty yeah. Ghost Rider movie. Or a very, again, like Batman, the, uh, the Batman-like Moon Knight movie. Mm. Which has nothing to do with the Moon Knight show that was on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> like a dark, dark, dark Moon Knight movie. Uh, I think a story that would be excellent for movies, though, is the Wonder Woman New 52 storyline. I'm, I don't remember. It is any. far more okay. into like the whole Greek mythology thing, and it feels mm. so much more Neil Gaiman esque than mm. than pretty much any superhero movie that I can remember having seen. Because it's got the whole thing about that. There's this, uh, you know, there's this parallel yeah. universe. Like there's Greek gods showing up in London, and like mm. all this thing that you might expect from a Neil Gaiman novel. But uh, but with Wonder, Wonder Woman and it, and the story sort of takes a while to get going. But you if you made a movie, you could just yeah. skip to that bit. <laughs> I would like to see the Wonder Woman uh, book we read. Yeah, that would as be a awesome. movie, post like a post-apocalyptic. Yeah, yeah really that would dark. be like Mad Max with Wonder Woman. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, anything else? I don't know. Any Marvels? I haven't. I mean, I would love to see a remake of. The mask as well, yeah, yeah. with and Jim Carrey. That would be even better, or like a continuation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, if it was a continuation, it wouldn't be as dark as I want. I, I wanted yeah. to go for the dark horse uh, comics, Comic like books, yeah, because yeah. uh, they are so much more fucked up than the yeah, movies. Yeah, oh, not as that's... fucked up as uh, Son of Mask because that's a, that's a <laughs> fucked up movie. For all the wrong reasons. <laughs> um, and we need another Dread movie as well. The Shadow. And The Shadow. Ooh, that would be mm. a... The Spirit. Yeah. The Spirit. Yeah. So there are, or, there are cool things uh, that they can do. Batman War Games as a TV series. 
That would be yeah, yeah. that would be yeah. cool. Or a TV story. show about rising stars. That would be something I would like to see. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there are cool things out there that they can still do that would be original. Mm. Yeah. All right. I well, actually, if people really do suffer from superhero fatigue. Are there any comic books you could read to sort of reignite that spark? Not newer ones. Because <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they are even worse than uh, the we're not TV. talking about. But we're not talking about necessarily yeah, newer yeah, ones. Yeah. If, if you watch kidding. like the whole MCU and you feel like DC is not for you anymore, like what? What are there any comic books you should read? Any stories? I would. I, I, I have definitely Ninja Turtles. I mean, what I, I, I still buy a lot of Marvel comics, but I only buy the epic collection ones. And these are like collections of old Marvel mm. stories from maybe, I mean, you have them all, all the way from like, I don't know, 60s to 90s. Some of these are really, really good. Some of these are stuff that I read when I was a kid. Like you have Craven's Last Hunt. If, 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 yeah, yeah, if That's has... a superhero movie coming soon. Oh, uh, but why? Why? <laughs> it okay. would have been better if they okay. just made Craven's Last Hunt as a movie. Yeah, I just made the superhero fatigue kick in. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> so, like, there are good comic books. Uh, Daredevil Born Again. You have... Uh... Uh, Green Arrow. Green Arrow. Mm -hmm. There are a lot Long, of good comic Longbow books Hunters. there. Yeah, yeah, Longbow Hunters. You have, of course, you have so many good old Batman comic books as oh, well. yeah. Uh, yeah. You have all the regular ones like Dark Knight Returns, uh, Green Lantern, Blackest Nights. Yeah, that's a... um, one of the ones that I like of the Batman comic books that people don't talk about much is the Cult when he gets brainwashed and he doesn't function properly after that and he's like even more insane than normal. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff out there, but yeah, White Knight. White Knight is good. Yeah. For, uh, actually, actually, one of my favorite Batman comics of newer times. I would say this is way better than White Knight as well. Is this one. So if, yeah, if you want to kind of get the feel-good vibes of superhero stuff, check out this one. This could have been set in the, the Batman movie universe. Yeah. You should if, borrow this. If, if, you, if you want to read Marvel and DC, go for the one-shots. They are yeah, still pretty yeah. good. And you get one good story without having yeah. to re read... Uh, like something just like I want my just like I want my movies. future DC movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, okay. Let's wrap it up, guys. All right. Okay, that's it. What are your thoughts on this? Are you fed up with the superhero stuff? Do you guys want to see more superhero movies? Are there any movies you are excited about that are coming out soon? Let us know. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Cheerio, guys. Cheerio. Ooh, last Roman. Oh yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Legs of Hoffman, the coffee. Three, two, action. You're in my spot. You're in my spot. There you go, dude. Cheers. <laughs> 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 this is a total mess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have the fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. Who are you guys? I'm going to work school, huh? Oh, I must be. John? Well, then who am I? I'm you. But I am him. Ah. Ah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, what are we doing here, KH? Well, we're having another episode of Ninja Coffee. Alright. Yes. Alright, alright. And what's today's topic? Superhero fetish. Is it gay or not? <laughs> <laughs> it was going so well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <what>? Really? <laughs> really?